going on people this is easy tech and today i'm going to talk about the fail to initialize render bug which is often happening to many of us who are playing skyrim and i'm going to tell you most of the recommended fixes uh, which you can follow and maybe you're maybe solving the issue but that is uh, skyrim crash fail to initialize render so let's first of all understand why are you getting this error this error is basically happening because of certain conflicts that are occurring uh, within your graphic card settings within the sound card settings or maybe because you have installed certain mods you have uh, certain settings uh, that are actually blocking uh, your way to play the game so we'll be actually be analyzing and we'll be recommending you certain issues certain solutions that uh, we have we'll be updating our blog uh, with the more solutions if we have but for now let me just explain you a brief uh, ex a brief steps that you can follow so that you fix the error okay so here are certain solutions that we have. So the first solution that I can give you which is to download the latest drivers for your graphics card. Okay. So because this is something very common with many other games, uh, at times when you have certain graphics problem, the general, the straightforward reason that we can think of is the graphics card issue. So you may need to reinstall your graphics card if needed, if you're having problems with other games also, but try updating your graphics card. Uh, try reinstalling certain softwares that are needed and you may disable the other graphics card if you're if you're not using them some people use two graphics card for uh three screens but if you're using a single screen then you do not have to uh you know use one graphics card so i mean two graphics cards so you should disable one of the graphics card and try playing the game okay so that's one thing that i can suggest you if you're having problems playing new games and it's like something very usual now so you can upgrade your graphics card all right you need to try out new graphics card rather than the old ones so that's one thing that i wanted to recommend second fix that i'm gonna recommend which is quite common for other games also uh, if you have uh, if you're a regular visitor of my blog i have suggested some of the uh, common uh, graphics problems which occur in the games and the crashes that happens because of the DirectX older versions so you need to update your DirectX version pretty often because uh, it's, it's really something that is causing the problem if you do not know how to find out the DirectX version you may just go to start type in DX uh, DX Diag all right that's what you type in and then just click it okay it will open up a, a tool which will show you the exact features and exact uh, properties of your sound card of your graphics driver of your DirectX version all right so that's something which you should really try out that's about the latest uh, i mean DirectX version that you really need to install all such graphics problems the next uh, recommendation which i actually uh, my friend suggested is the disabling of a crossfire so crossfire is basically helpful when you're trying to play with two video cards instead of one and that is basically needed as i said earlier to play with three screens and not just one okay so crossfire must be disabled i mean it's highly recommended to be disabled you wouldn't see much of a difference you know it just increases the fps it uh, but most of the slower textures that are you that you encounter while playing the game uh, do not make a difference so you can simply disable the crossfire settings when you're you know launching your game so that's one recommendation that i can give you the next uh, step that you can follow is disabling mods and reinstalling skyrim if needed so what happens is if you have installed many different mods then they might be consuming the video memory they might create some crashes and uh, lags in the game so you need to just uninstall some mods because they also eat up a lot of video memory all right so that's one thing that i highly recommend and i have found people who have fixed the problem just by uninstalling the mods and trying out the game again okay so that's one thing next is trying the game in windowed mode so this is again uh, one of the fixes that work for many people what you can do is you can just uh, uh, you know change the settings to windowed mode and try playing the game but before that just go to skyrim preferences.ini file that's one file uh, inside your inside your skyrim folder which, which you get after installing the game you can just go to c drive or whichever drive you have installed your game in and then just edit it and change the b show all resolutions to zero all right that's one fix that i can really suggest and then what you can do is you can just go to skyrim skyrim launcher.exe not the skse but the skyrim launcher.exe just open it and uh, choose the option to play the game in windowed mode okay so once you do that you can also try out lowering down the resolution i mean uh, which will help you in playing the game so just try it out and you may be able to play the game in windowed mode i've seen many people uh, you know being able to fix this problem in the windowed mode that's one thing next is sound card fix so this is actually what worked for me 
if you're having some critical issues with the sound card you can just go to dxir tool and check it out that is one thing but you can also uh, go to your control panel sound right click the speakers and select properties go to advanced tab and select 16 bit cd quality okay so from the top down menu the reason i'm not just doing all this in front of you is because uh, it's worthless it's very straightforward and it's very easy to try it out so i want to explain many different things so I'm not just showing you all this but this is what you need to do all right just go to uh, control panel speak uh, sound then right click on speakers properties go to advanced tab 16 bit cd quality drops from the drop down menu and then you may be able to play, play the game just try it it worked for me and maybe it may work for you okay so those are my suggestions and some of my friends suggestions which actually helped playing the game if you have some other suggestions you can just uh, uh, comment below or if you found if you find some other uh, problems with your playing the game then you can simply simply you know tell us uh, as comments so that's what I can say okay so if it helped you feel free to share it thanks for watching